today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can turn this into something a little more like this using After Effects in just a few minutes. Now quickly before we hop into this, I just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by my editing packs. Over on our website, we have tons of editing packs that you guys can use to level up your visuals. A couple examples of our packs are the Polaroid Effects Packs where you can instantly create transitions with Polaroids, the Slow Shutter Preset where you can drag and drop a preset on any footage to make a slow shutter, and we have multiple 3D packs as well that you guys can use on your videos to add 3D, which requires no render time whatsoever. But without further ado, let's hop right into this video. All right, so we in After Effects here, we have this clip of Can Can. Of course, the first thing to get started is to rotoscope your subject from the background. I've made multiple tutorials on this, so if you guys do not know how to rotoscope, go watch one of my tutorials, but it is super simple to do. So once you have your artist or subject rotoscoped from the background, you want to create two layers here. You want to have the regular layer and the rotoscope version, and then you also want to duplicate the rotoscope version one more time. So you're going to have two rotoscopes and then the background layer. So we're going to be working on the middle layer here, and to get started, we're going to go ahead and apply Turbulent Displace on the middle clip here, and then what this is going to do, it's going to add that shaky blob effect, as you can see, as we increase the amount here. We're going to go to the very beginning, and we're going to bring that amount down to zero. Once that amount is at zero, we're going to keyframe it at the beginning. And then once we get to about here, we're going to bring it up to something around 600. Totally up to you guys. I'm going to go for that roughly. As you guys can see, we get that really cool look there. And now we're going to keyframe the evolution at the beginning and go to the very end. We're going to change the evolution about one rotation there. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty cool there, guys. And now the next effect we're going to apply is Colorama. We're going to drag and drop that on here, and we're going to go into the output cycle. And then where it says cycle repetitions, we're going to turn that all the way up until we get this really cool look here. So I'm going to go for something just like that, and then we're going to close out of Colorama. Now going back up here, we're going to type in Glow. We're going to drag on the regular Glow that comes with After Effects. But if you guys prefer Deep Glow, Uniglow, Sapphire Glow, you guys can use whatever you want. So we're going to drag and drop that on there, and then playing with the threshold, the radius, and the intensity, you guys can create a look that you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and mess around with this until I get something I like. So that looks pretty cool there. I like the way that looked. And now to tie everything together, we're going to go ahead and apply directional blur on. This really sells the effect if we do it properly here. So let's drag and drop that on the middle layer. We're going to go and we're going to go to the middle of the video here. We're going to turn the blur length up to something like that there around 12. You guys can change it to whatever you want. And then we're going to go back to the beginning and play with the direction here and then go to the end. And we're just going to rotate this and just have the direction go going crazy about one rotation there. As you can see, it's going to be spinning and it's going to add that really cool look to it. And that's the basics of the effect there, but we're going to spice it up with a little bit more sauce that most of you guys don't know. So if we go ahead and type in HLS, we can drag and drop HLS color on here and then keyframing the hue at the very beginning. What you can do is then going to the end, you can rotate through the color wheel if you wanted to change colors. So you can get a look just like that, having it change colors. And now what I did on the clip earlier is I actually duplicate this file right here and then we're going to go open this up here, go to transform. And what we're going to end up doing is going to the rotation here and moving it sideways and then since we have the borders on here that aren't filling we're going to scale it up and then we're going to bring it down and you don't want to see it at the beginning of the video so we're going to keyframe the position scale and rotation and at the very beginning we're going to keyframe it down to zero just so it's not there and then about a few frames in we could bring it back up to what we had it at so 100 and then bring it back to what we had it at there you guys can mess around with this and make it to your liking i'm just going to move this so it's right in front of it so we have nothing to this big crazy you know what I mean? Like, and you guys could even move this over to the side here so that you have that going and then it comes in and gets really crazy there. Mess around with it to your liking. You don't just have to use the one turbulence displace. You can duplicate it and then transform and move it around the way you want. But if you guys are looking for a super quick and easy way to get looks like these all the time in just one click, I highly recommend checking out Brian's Liquid Explosion Pack. I'll have it linked in the description below and there's a coupon code for you guys there as well. Now hopping into the Liquid Explosion Pack here, if we go to Animation Presets and then we open up the Liquid Explosion Explosion. As you guys can see, we have a bunch of different options here and just showing you guys how these work. All you have to do is click on the middle clip like we did earlier. And we're going to double click on the Rick and Morty one here. And once that loads in, as you guys can see, just like that, we have a super sick liquid explosion effect. Pressing control Z. Let's try a completely different one here. Let's go with the tiny blobs. And that isn't just one click, guys. Just make sure you have your cursor towards the beginning of the clip because that's where they're going to come in. You guys can even apply them to the top rotoscope layer to get an effect like this. If we put on optic explosion here on can you can get a really cool effect of it going into him. So these will be linked in the description below. They're super easy to use and apply to your footage. If you're just looking for the quicker option instead of going through each effect and dialing it in and making it perfect, Brian's already did that for you guys. Once again, linked in the description below. Save yourself some money. But with that being said, make sure you guys go check out two of our other videos. They will help you level up on your editing journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.